gear up? Winter is just a few short months away. Yeah! Woo! And while we're still basking in the beautiful colors of fall, the Climate Prediction Center has their sights set on next season's outlook. That's going to provide some cold and windy conditions across much of the north. The driving factor behind this year's forecast, the development of a weak La Nina pattern or below average sea surface temperatures across the east central equatorial Pacific. The ocean got a little colder, the atmosphere started to cooperate. The next set of runs that we saw were significantly colder in their forecast, implying that this event would continue. Forecasters have come to these conclusions. Parts of the high plains and upper Midwest have an increased chance at seeing below normal temperatures. Pretty much the entire southern half of the U.S. could be looking at a warmer than average winter. The Great Lakes and High Plains could see a little extra rain and snow, while the south, southeast and southwest look to see below average precipitation. Assuming that La Nina does develop, the expectations are strongly in favor of this being a weak event, so we've already taken that into account. And really the way we take that into account is by having fairly low probabilities. Uh, you know, if you look across the, the southern tier, the probabilities don't even reach 50% in the three-class system for above in much of, the, much of the southeast. Unfortunately, the warm and dry weather may go hand in hand. The seasonal drought outlook has the drought persisting or expanding in major problem areas like the southeast and southern California. This winter is not looking good uh, based on what we've seen so far. They're talking, you know, it's been four to five years in a row now that they've had below normal precipitation and above normal temperatures, especially Southern California. It was probably going to take a couple of wet winters in a row to really put a big dent into this drought here right now. Remember, this outlook is a probabilistic insight into the season as a whole, not how much snow or how cold each individual city will get. For Weather Nation, meteorologist Carissa Kloss.